Welcome to my JK Solutions channel. This video is about electrical power distribution system, transformer sizing calculation, as well as the 3 kV skipper metering panel. So, as I said, today, I mean, in this video, we are going to see another type of distribution system, another type of uh, power schematic uh, diagram as well as uh, another calculation on transformer sizing. We are also going to see how to do metering at medium, medium voltage, which is 30 kilovolts, without necessarily making use of the conventional uh, AT or MV panel. Meanwhile, please do subscribe to my JK Solutions channel if you have not done, done so. And then please, you can expect more informative and more educative uh, videos on this channel. Thank you. Please, in this video, anywhere mechanical interlock appears, it is meant to be MIE interlock or automatic changeover system. Mechanical interlock alone is a manual changeover switch, while MIE interlock means automatic uh, changeover switch. Thank you. For proper understanding, as well as thorough understanding of uh, the concept, it is always uh, better to make use of an example. So, please continue to watch the video as I go through the example. Alright? And the example is, electrical power requirement of a building is collated as 700 kVA. So, the questions are, A part, calculate the building load, delta line current at 33 kV, 50 Hz, and star current at 400 volts line to line at 50 Hz frequency. So, B, draw the schematic diagram for the distribution system. C, hence or otherwise, determine the transformer size for the building. Neglect transformer losses. Once again, anywhere mechanical interlock appears in this video, it is meant to be MIE interlock or automatic changeover system. MIE interlock means uh, automatic interlock, while mechanical interlock means uh, manual. In this case, we are dealing with uh, automatic, not manual. The solutions to the problems A, first part, first part of A, data line current. We can make use of this uh, simple diagram here. Alright. This is the data and this is the star. Alright. Even though we've not reached the stage of transformer, but we have to calculate the data line current. This is the current. This current. I this current I okay is the same for the three for the three lines all right so if we do that now the line footage is 33 kV 33 kV all right so if the line footage is 33 kV according to the question now the apparent power is equal to square root of 3 times line footage times line current. So from there, we have a I line, all right? I line is equal to S divided by root 3 times VL. So S, the apparent power, according to the question, is 700 thousand VA or 700 kVA. So the square root of 3 is 1.7321. Then the line footage, which is this this footage, the footage between two lines, is 33 kV according to the question. So this is what we have here. And when we calculate this one, if it is properly calculated, this is the answer. 12.2 ampere triple phase because we have 
uh, we have uh, three faces here, one, two, three, and three lines as well of equal magnitude of current. So that is the solution to the first part of A. Now the second part of question A, the star current at 400 volts line to line at 50 hertz frequency. So simil just similar to the first parts of A. So the line current in this case is, is this, 700,000 VA divided by 1.7321 times 400 volts. And the answer is 1010 ampere triple phase with nitra. We have nitra here. This is the delta. I mean, this is the star side. This is delta. This is star. So when we have a star, we have a, a neutral point. So it doesn't mean that the neutral current is uh, 1010 ampere also. No. We can, for a balanced load system, the neutral current will be zero in this situation. But when uh, we don't, when we have a load that is not uh, balanced, then one can calculate the neutral current, and that will be a, a topic for the future. So we are going to do that on the future. All right. This is the solution to the second part of uh, question the A. The schematic diagram for the system, all right, the uh, star LV line current, which is the same thing as uh, phase current in star. When we have a star connection, the line current is always equal to the phase current and is equal to 10, 10 ampere. That is 1,010 ampere. All right, this is the load current, all right? So, because from 700, if you have a 700,000, uh, we divide it by, we divide it by 3 times uh, 400, all right? And that is the, the current, I line which is equal to I piece. The answer is uh, 10, 10. Okay, so if we have 10, 10 as the total current, so the first thing, first of all, the load, this is the load, load is equal to 700 kVA, okay, we have 700, then we must select generators, uh, that will give us power. Uh, 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 yes, the apparent power that will be slightly greater than 700. So we can make use of 500 in combination with 300 kVA. We could have used 800 kVA generator, but it is better to have two so that uh, as the load changes, as the load fluctuates, one of the transformer I mean, of the generators could be shut down as the case may be so if we take the one i mean 500 kva and 300 kva generator they will serve the purpose so for the 500 kva we use this other 30 arm circuit breaker mccb to protect it so this is mccb okay and this is also mccb so for the 300 kVA, we use 400 amp uh, circuit breaker to protect it because the maximum current that can be drawn from this one is about uh, uh, 433. So we 400 we protect it very well. This one we can this one we can have a maximum current of about 721. So 600 amp, 630 amp, we protect it. Okay, so that if we, if we had the two together, it will give us about uh, uh, around the 10, 10, 30, that is 1,030 ampere, which is slightly greater than this. So it's still in order. So now we come here, 
This is the interlock. So we have uh, the same 1000 ampere circuit breaker here. So this is the one we can easily find in the market for this uh, situation. So, and then we have uh, the mains. We've been told that uh, the supply is 33 kV. So we have a uh, drop fuse here on the pole, on the electric pole. So this is a 33 kV skipper metering panel. This is a, the metering, a metering panel that can be used for measuring the kilo, kilowatt hour. That is the energy meter. It can be used for metering without necessarily making use of the conventional uh, HT or medium voltage uh, panel. So this one, the dimension is just about uh, 1.2, just like this, 1.2 by 1.2 by 1.2 uh, meter in height as well. So it's a very small panel. The skipper, the, the, this skipper, the word skipper is the name of the manufacturer of the metering panel, which is, uh, the panel is uh, common in some areas or in some part of uh, West Africa. All right, so we move on. So after the metering, we still, we have uh, that three, uh, we have 800 kVA transformer, this transformer, with the primary side at uh, 33 kV and the secondary side at 400 volts. We step it down, we protect the transformer with uh, 1000 ampere triple phase with neutral uh, MCCB. Okay, that is model case circuit breaker. This uh, IPC swap means uh, ingress protection in case it's in store outside or is installed outdoor so it has to be waterproof so it has to be enclosed this is how it, it can also be called encapsulated the uh, mccb so and then on this side also we have 1000 ampere circuit breaker so when there is main failure so there will be a sensing uh, signal okay so sensing signal from this panel to this panel here this uh, APLS panel this this A means or this APLS means uh, automatic main failure panel and it's also serving as a phase sequence panel and it's also serving as low shedding all right, and synchronizing panel as well. So that is what is doing. So this is a this is a remote sensing line. Okay. Okay. Remote sensing line. So this is remote sensing line, and then depending on the signal received by this panel. This panel can signal to these generators whether to switch on or to switch off any of them as the situation arises. So, and then here we have the common bus section, this line. So this is the common bus section. So from here we have uh, a going, we have uh, a going the uh, circuit breakers, okay. This is MCCB as well. So MCCB, MCCB, MCCB3. So they are now going to the loads, load one, load two, load three. So the loads could be distribution bus or some other types of uh, loads. Okay. So the magnitude of the load will be the one in each case, or the load will be the determinant of the size of the circuit breakers that's why i'm not putting the size of uh, the circuit breakers there all right so this is the lv panel 1000 ampere triple phase with neutral mccb uh, low footage panel so and that is the 
the schematic diagram for the system. The C part, the transformer sizing. We have been, or we have known that the primary side of the transformer is going to be delta, and the voltage is 33 kV at 50 Hz. So on the star side, which is the secondary side, we know this. We know that the voltage is 400 volts at 50 Hz frequency. Now, looking at the the combination of these two generators 500 and 300 we are having 800 kV here so the size of the the size of the transformer the kva rating is definitely 800 kV. and the uh, medium voltage side is 33 kV. the low voltage side is 400 volts both sides are at 50x and it is a step down transformer so and this is the size of the transformer hence or otherwise means without necessarily we, we not going through any rigor deduce it's just a deduction we are deducing the size of the transformer from what we will, what we have done in the a part i mean on a part and the b parts so this is the size of the transformer, 800 kV, 33 kV, slash uh, 400 volts at 58 step down transformer. Now, uh, and that ends up the, the solutions to the problem. Finally, if you are new on this channel, or if, the, if, it is, if this is your first time of uh, being on this channel, please do subscribe to my DK Solutions channel. I expect more educative and informative videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.